Hello uh, guys, yep, Chris here. Gents aren't with me today, but um, I'm feeling pretty rough today. I've never called, but we're gonna to attempt to um, get this 3, 350 back up and running with a bumper. So what I'm gonna to attempt to do today, <coughs> excuse my voice, is to, t uh, well, I've test fitted it, but get this bumper fitted onto the car, looking somewhat okay. Um, and then we can get it sprayed up and go in there. Like I say, it's a drift car in it, so it ain't going to be perfect. But um, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, the first thing we're doing is removing some of this, this wheel, the fucking arch protector crap. Been doing all right there, see? Um, it's pointless, that is, with, with drift cars and stuff. There's no point in it being there. And it gets in the way of this bumper. Um, pushing it and stuff and whatever. So get rid of that and get a nice little uh, little fixing on this here. Get some holes drilled in this. Along here as well. They fit onto here. There's only a few points. One, two, three, sorry, four, five, six, if you want to use them all. And then there's a couple of little brackets in here which fit onto these points here. There is two. Again, you can just use one. Doesn't really matter as long as it's secured on and it's safe that's the main thing and yeah we go from there okay guys got um took those pieces of plastic off as you can see just for a little oh, nice piece of piece of cake there little knife there took those pieces of plastic off just to make it a little easier and then measured the bumper up now this is not a show car so for example that for me ish will be okay this went off oh, so you can't do things with one hand so little gaps like that will be fine this gap on this one was too much so we're gonna have to look at that um but as i say it isn't a show car it's a drift car so the chances are the bumper's going to get damaged again anyway in time um but that's why I'm doing it myself, so I can learn. Um, and as well as that, learn to spray it, because I've got a compressor gun. Um, so we're going to be spraying it as well. And we'll go from there. We've got a few little trip bits on the engine and stuff. Cooling stuff and what have you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So we'll go from there. Well, I'll test fit it again. Um, try not to pull it off. And uh, yeah, I'll show you the gap on the light. There right, guys, got it back on again. It's a two second job. So as you can see, this side, as I say, it's not too bad. Follows the lines, not too bad. We've got a bit of a gap here, but that might come in. Now, this is obviously, is down here because it's not, I'm not going to pull it because the fixing points are here, so I'll pull it up. So again, once that's in, that'll follow okay. Not too bad. So that side's not too bad. I have to do something about this because the bonnet doesn't close properly because aftermarket bonnets, they're a bit rubbish at closing. Um, but it's got the bonnet catches on it, so that'll be okay. But then you come to this side, and as we can see, like this line up here, when that's pulled up, will be not too bad. But then, as we get to the light, <coughs> excuse me, you can see we're coming forwards. So as you can see on here, it fits in. It's not too bad to see. Uh, it's coming forwards here, and we've got a gap. Uh, which is obviously not not great this here as well um so what i need to do is uh have a look at it do a few jigs and stuff a few pushes pulls to see what i can do to get this gap down a bit because as you can see like that's there and then the other side it's quite neat this is literally just the first time i've put the bumper on um it's, that's how it came from the uh, place i bought it from it's not a very expensive bumper it's a Nesmo style one, uh, but as I, as I say, it's not bad. I mean, I could just fit it like that. It's a drift bumper at the end of the day. It's not the end of the world, but I'm going to have a go at making it a little bit better uh, to even the sides up a bit. Because that, that side fits not too bad, to be quite honest with you, for an aftermarket bumper without any modifications or cutting or pulling. It's not even screwed in. Uh, it's not too bad at all, but the other side's a little bit, a little bit off. And as part of this process, I'm going to have a look at doing that. So I'm going to have a look now, and I'll come back to you shortly. Okay, guys. So there's a few sections that need to come come a bit smaller. Ignore the marks on the lights. Um, to get this to go in, 
a bit more and up. Yeah, it's just it's just got to go. It's mainly that section there to get it to go in, uh, and then a little bit there. So just make it flush. We'll try that. Okay, guys. So as you can see, it's a bit better now. I've hacked a bit away, and uh, yeah, that's not too bad now. Once it's pushed in, and then this side is the same as it was. What I might have to do is force that together once this is all in. So fit this side first, <coughs> sorry, fit the middle first with these screws and then um, fit that side and then force that side together so it holds in that shape. Now, if I'm doing any of this wrong, you know, don't, don't criticize too much. I'm, I'm a, I'm not even a mechanic. I'm nothing. I'm an accountant by training. I've got my own online businesses. So I'm doing these things as a learning curve so I can get better at stuff like this. <coughs> this is the first time I've even test fitted a bumper. It's the first time I've put a knife and uh, sanding paper to fiberglass. That might be the wrong way to do it. You might take the lights out and then fit the bumper and put the lights in over the top, uh, which is quite impossible really because the, the brackets for the lights are, are un underneath. There's a bracket, there's a, sorry, there's a, there's a nut there and there's a nut there. Then there's probably a few other nuts, but there's definitely one under here, so you can't do that on this, unless it's obviously really jacked up high. Um, so it's not too bad. I mean, if that fits like that, <coughs> Um, I'll be I'll be fairly pleased with that. So what I'm going to do now is measure up some holes, do a bit of drilling, and test fit it as it is, and we'll go from there. So yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. I mean, obviously, it all needs prepping and stuff. You say, oh, you've scratched here and stuff and all that shit, but it needs prepping. This, these little surface scratches on the wing will come out. That's no problem. Uh, and then I can take it to my drift day next Saturday and probably smash it up again <coughs> but i've got another one coming anyway from from firefly shop uh, as a replacement for this replacement for this replacement for this replacement until i'm perfect at drifting which nobody is anyway take care guys see you in a minute guys got some holes drilled uh basically ah oh, lifted it up slightly to gauge where the hole started started with a very thin uh screw um drill bit and drilled in the center where I thought it would be. And then slowly went up, down, side to side with the drill going to get the cut the extremities and pulled the drill bit round to get the actual size of the hole underneath. And it seems to have worked okay on those. That one's a bit more tricky because it's a piece of plastic underneath uh, which moves around. So it'll cut the plastic, whereas these are metal bits. Um, so they're not gonna uh, cut as I pull. Uh, but yeah, I got those four holes drilled and then you see that that lines up there once I get those in then Then we've got that gap there that I'm just gonna pull pull on pull in so <coughs> I'm gonna put some of these poppers in though I think into these uh, You probably know what these are get those poppers in and then put the four in first Don't worry about these two for now uh, Deal with those shortly, but put the four in first and then I'm going to deal with that side with the screw uh, on the actual wing. I'm just going to do one. As I say, there's two points on that side, two on that side. But I'm just going to do the outer one for now. Because uh, as I say, it's a drift car. As long as it's secure, getting the bumper off quickly is quite an important thing. So we'll uh, we'll go from there. See you shortly. Yeah, guys, one thing I learned quite quickly in this game is um, have the right tools on hand and the right fittings various fittings that you can use um to trial and error stuff uh it makes things all of a lot easier <coughs> and usually when you're doing stuff like this with cars you build them up over time um so yeah there's the nsx on charge and there's the ferrari acting as a table for the fluff out the uh, dryer as you do with your liberty walk ferrari spoiler okay so guys got those in one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's held that in. That's good. 
Really nice that is, actually. Quite pleased with that. So that's now held on by those four. Now on to this side. I got a lot of room here. I've had with this R34 under this cover. I'm sorry, it's a super how's the R34. <coughs> but I should be able to get in there. Look at this. Yeah, the bloody buffer on that after. Anyway, um yeah, let's get this screwed on now. We'll go from there. Okay guys, see the camera on this wheel now. So as you can see, there is the connection point, there is the drill point, and then you connect them together. Simple. So we shall now do that. I mean, look at that. Auto finesse, there's a little plug for you. Okay guys, got that got that um bolted in. Um this is just temporary for now. Just a small bolt in there, but I haven't tightened it up fully. So there's still a small gap there, but it's not too bad because obviously it's got to be sprayed and stuff, but that's acceptable to me, that is, for now. That's not too bad for now at all. The lines on that. Um, it's just good when it's a little bit tighter. Obviously, I'll just pull that in, just that little bit more up there, close that gap. But that's perfect for that side. Let's get on to the other side now. Okay, guys, fitted. Far from perfect, but... That's what we'll do for now. As I say, this side here, that needs closing up. That's just literally tightening a bolt a little bit more, but with it having to come off, I've done it upside down. I put the screw head at the top, which makes it very difficult to get the screw in. So I needed to do it the other way around. And I did this one the other way around here, which took no time at all. As you can see, it fits not too bad. It's all right there. So I'm all right with that, to be honest. I feel like it's okay. The bonnet, um, the bonnet catches shit. Need to sort that out. Um, but it's got the uh, the clips on it, so it's okay. It'll do the job that well. So I'm quite pleased with that. Uh, and now I'm legal again on the road, rather than it hasn't got a bumper on it. So, so yeah, quite quite pleased with that, guys. Um, done a done an all right job. That's the first time I've done a, a bumper. I look rough. Sorry, guys. First time I've ever done a bumper that is, or or whatever. And um, anything with fiberglass, but. If it's all right, it won't, uh, no, I'll be honest, I've been to car shows and seen worse than that, if I'm honest. You know, worse than worse than these lines here. I've seen a lot worse than that at, uh, at car shows. So, yeah, I'm all right with that. I'm happy with that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to put the downturns on now, which are these. Show you what these, these, uh, these downturns, these big buggers. Because when you do a drift day uh, up here, they, uh, <coughs> they make you have these on. It pushes the exhaust uh, noise and everything down to the ground. So they just go, well, they're supposed to go over the top, but uh, they, uh, yeah, where are we? Yeah, they don't go over the top. So I'm, uh, I'll am i just have to drill them on or something, but uh, I'll do that later or, or maybe next week. Um, I'll do a very, very, very quick video on that, but that's not gonna be too hard, is it? So I'm, I'm gonna uh, have a lie down now and a rest. And uh, I'll catch you soon. Peace out, guys.